Here's Aaron Rodgers from yesterday. First session with reporters since the arrival of Devontae Adams talking about Adams and also the possibility of Rodgers and Adams staying with the New York Jets beyond the season, making this more than an 11-game rental for the New York Jets. Here's Rodgers. He's staying with me for the short term, so went right into some of the signals, and he was about 95%. And he knows kind of the, the original to the second iteration, to the third, and on down. So uh, his knowledge of the game is pretty extensive. Um, obviously, it looks like he's uh, drinking the elixir from the fountain of youth. Very surreal. Um, I, you know, he sat next to me in the team meeting today, and I turned to him and just said, man, how crazy is this? Those conversations are about more than just this year. So I think he restructured his contract. So is this something where we, we know you've talked about giving the Jets more than just this season. Is that the same with Devontae? Yeah, I mean, I mean, Devontae just had a kid two months ago. So to move his family across the country for a few months, I don't think is uh, high on his priority list. I hope so. That's the plan. I mean, I want to. I want to be here. My, I never go somewhere in hopes of having to find a new home. So that's that's the that's the hope. Okay. Uh, look, I don't want to have round two with the Jets media, but whoever asked the question about the restructuring of the contract, it didn't change anything after this year. All they did was move money around to create cap space. He still has a $35.64 million base salary next year. The Jets aren't going to pay Devontae Adams $35.64 million next year. So there's an, an, another negotiation that will happen or not after the season while the Jets hold exclusive rights to communicate directly with Devontae Adams before they rip up that contract. Are we going to come up with another deal or are we going to rip up the contract? Because even the dysfunctional Jets, and I'm sorry, folks, but we know they are at the top, whether or not Joe Douglas and Nate, uh, Jeff Albrecht and Aaron Rodgers can, you know, counter that dysfunction is a different issue. But I don't think even Woody Johnson would say, I'm going to triple down on this move by paying Devontae Adams $35.64 million in 2025. That has to be dealt with. That wasn't addressed. The question that was posed to Adams implied that maybe 2025 was addressed. It wasn't. It needs to be addressed. And yeah, if you want to pay me $35.64 million, hell yeah, I'll stay. So that's an issue for after the season. And after the season, we'll have a pretty good idea of what they're going to do for a couple of reasons. One, they'll have a new coach. Might not be Jeff Albrecht. Might be somebody else. Number two, we'll know whether or not Aaron Rodgers is coming back for another season. And then number three, the answer will reveal itself with Devontae Adams. Ideally, you'd like to have him for more than 11 games if you're giving up a third-round pick. Yes, but you're not paying him $35.64 million to make it happen. And remember, this is the phony back end that drove the average. It was a three-year, $22.9 million contract. They threw two phony baloney back end years on to drive it to 28. Now the Jets are going to have to deal with the phony and the baloney. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.